Hi, everyone. Last day of July today and into August, uh, we're more than halfway into 2020. And what's happening uh, to Ottawa's market? Will it continue on this trend? Will prices keep going up? And is it sustainable? Uh, but first, uh, just a quick moment on what's been happening on the market stat-wise uh, this past week. The first slide I have is sold properties by week, residential and condo. Same time last year, 500. And this uh, year, same uh, this past week, 600. So more units are being sold this year. But as mentioned, we're having a bit of a spring market uh, in the latter part of summer right now. The next slide I have is new listings by week last year versus 700 and I'm not surprised uh, because uh, since March 15th up until now well the first two months has been really slow a lot of sellers that didn't need to sell they didn't sell so now because we're having a late spring market we're seeing more listings come to market but does that mean that prices are affected because we're seeing listings you know what they didn't get affected and in, in fact prices have gone up so residential and condo combined last year average price uh, 420,000 and this year 480,000. And then as we dissect both condo and residential what are the prices? Condos on average last year 310,000 and this year 350,000 which is still relatively low to invest in Ottawa for a condominium or to live in. And then our residential when the prices so with a price of files and still very affordable in auto Of the city for those who want more land and privacy uh, as they don't need to come into Ottawa into the Ottawa core as much or anymore. Reason number three we are primarily a government city which offers income stability stability uh, because of all the ser civil servants we have in the city. Number four point number four we also have a large high-tech sector in our city uh, which has proven vital during this pandemic. Point number five interest rates are still low and the federal government has mentioned that rates shouldn't be rising, or at least not a, not a lot, uh, until 2023. Point number six, uh, we have Amazon and a second location coming into Barhaven. And the point number seven, Ottawa consistently has been as one of the best places to live in terms of overall quality of, uh, and life. So just these seven points alone are driving a, a lot of interest into Ottawa. And also within the city, people who live here, uh, they're, they're looking to buy bigger homes, smaller homes, wherever the case is. So all this is causing this activity uh, to keep the market going. And there's also a big group of buyers who don't wanna compete because there's very limited inventory and maybe buyers who have lost out once or twice, they're like, just wait. So that group of people, as soon as the market cools down, they're going to re-enter the market again and then stir, stir up the prices um, continuously. So there's no doubt that this market will last. Uh, how long? I don't have a crystal ball, but it looks like it's going to last quite a while, for, at least due to these seven points. So a reminder to please forward this video to friends you think may find uh, this update useful. Uh, stay safe and uh, we're still selling real estate. Thank you.